Captain Greg here with Learn to Fish with us. Today, what I'd like to talk about is safety while fishing, uh, especially, you know, the safety while on a boat. Number one thing is, uh, most of the time, I'm actually wearing my life jacket uh, because you just never know uh, when you might fall overboard, or two, if you're fishing by yourself, there's really nobody there <laughs> to actually help you out. So. Nice thing about this is a very comfortable life jacket. This is an inflatable life jacket. What's nice is they make it very comfortable around the neck area, so you really don't know it's on, and it's really lightweight. Uh, should I fall in, this life jacket would actually uh, expand up to this size, so it would save my life. And then you always have a backup that should it not inflate, you can pull this and it will inflate. Another tip is that um, when you're on a boat, you must wear this life jacket to be considered one of the boat's life jackets. So this one just can't be sitting on the seat and considered a life jacket. And you must have a life jacket for everybody on board. The other type of life jacket is our traditional life jacket. Um, and big thing here is you just want to make sure when you do have this traditional life jacket that you do buckle up um, each of the clips and and then adjust it based on these straps just adjust it so that it fits you snugly but not really tight that way you're still comfortable and then one other thing is just see like on kids just have them see if they can slide out of it um, you just want to make sure that they can't do that so again when you get on board a boat, I definitely recommend that you check where all the life jackets are. Ask, ask the person in charge of the boat where are the life jackets kept if they are not out. But I would also recommend putting them out on your seats or something and have them so that they're easily reachable. Next thing that we have in the boat should have a throwable. The throwable um, is used uh, just to throw it out this will float and then people can put their arms into the straps and what's going to happen is you're actually going to save somebody's life very quickly so again this must be in your boat sunny days cloudy days uh, when we're by water we are getting hit from the sun coming down but What's happening is the water's, uh, the sun's actually hitting the water and it's coming back at us. So when you're by water, you do get double duty sun. So very important to have sunblock. Another important aspect, sunglasses. Um, I've taught many kids fishing and so it's very imperative that I have sunglasses on because it'll protect me from rod tips, hooks, I mean, there's many guides that I know that it, fish have spit out the hook and actually come flying at them. So by having sunglasses, you're protected. The other nice thing is, if you're out fishing all day, um, with that sun, uh, you definitely could get a headache uh, just from all the sun and the glare off the water. The other nice thing is these are polarized sunglasses. So with polarized, I can actually see fish swim from one weed to the other and it allows me to catch more fish. So many reasons on why to wear sunglasses. Then we have the final safety factor. It's the hook. Right here we have the barb. It's very imperative that this barb never goes through your skin because if it does, most likely you will not be able to get it out and you will have to, uh, you'll have to go to the hospital or something. We do have a fire line method uh, to actually get it out and uh, we'll talk about that in a different video. So, when you're going fishing, I would think these are all the things you need to consider about safety while fishing.